what's up guys, Benny here, and in this video, you're going to see the top 10 best loadouts for Rebirth Island in Call of Duty Warzone. But first, you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe to my brand new second channel that I've just launched, More Benny Central, which is going to be filled to the brim with some of the best gameplays in Warzone. So go ahead, check out the link down in the description and subscribe so you don't miss out. So the first loadout for Rebirth Island is the well gun with the car 98k now the well gun if you don't know is the best smg in warzone right now it really has it all it's incredibly mobile has one of the fastest time to kills has great damage range drop off and it's just really really easy to use the class setup you want for it you want the recoil booster you want the 320 millimeter sa shrouded barrel the slate reflector removes stock so you maximize your movement speed and sprint to fire speed as well as that ADS speed. Um, I then run unmarked. This means that you stay completely off the radar whilst firing an unsuppressed weapon as you can have the maximum fire rate with that recoil booster. Um, you then want quick so you can move around the map faster. Stipple grip tape just for that initial firing recoil control. The 7.62 Gorenko 40 round mag and then hollow point rounds. So it doesn't matter if you have to hit fire a little bit and hit them in the arm or the leg you're still going to get the fastest time to kill possible. I wrap it up with a Mark VI skeletal stock just for that faster, that Mark VI skeletal underbarrel, sorry, for that faster uh, ADS. Um, and for me personally, one of the best snipers in the game is the Marksman Rifle, the Modern Warfare Car 98K. I run the Monolithic Suppressor. The one thing you can do is... It's rebirth. You don't have to run it. If you want to stay off radar, great. But you can then go ahead and run like the focus perk, which is just going to make you it a lot easier because you are going to get shot in a lot of situations. Just give, give, give you that flinch resistance so you can still get those headshots whilst being shot. But Singar Custom 27.6, TAC Laser, Sniper Scope, and then the ST Volt Precision Comb Stock uh, for that aiming stability. Now, perks are really interesting because they're so different to Caldera. Now, you've got a couple options, uh, really. In perk one, I either, either run double time, so you get faster um, tack sprint and also, so longer tack sprint, sorry, and then crouch movement speed, which opens a whole bunch of different, like, movement techniques that you can do. So you can, like, kind of, like, um, you can just kind of, like, crouch drop. So you can kind of, like, kind of go between standing and crouching and still be moving very quickly. Um, or you can go for quick fix. So when you get that down and finish someone off, your health can come back. It helps a lot in really intense firefights where you don't have the chance to pop a stim. It could also help you with a gas play. So many little uses for it, but, you know, it's it depends on my mood, what one i go for uh with this particular class i've been using double time overkill then amp so i can switch to my sniper quickly um as you don't really need combat stout scout when using an smg but then throwing knives and stims are staples throughout all my classes two best tacticals to have in the game right now throwing knife to finish your kills and rebirth the stim to uh you know make make some epic plays or play in the gas whichever you decide the next class we got is the Owen Gun with the Swiss. The Owen Gun is probably one of the best SMGs alongside the Well Gun right now. You want the Recoil Booster, the Shrouded Barrel, the NIDA Model 47 Optic. It's the one I use. I don't really like the Slate Reflector uh, on the Owen just because of the how it looks and how it works. It's, it's not the best. Uh, I then have Remove Stock just for that faster movement speed. Acrobatic for faster movement speed once again and sprinting move speed. Quick stipple grip tape, the 7.62 Gorenko 72 round drum. It's one of the things that makes the, the Owen so good. You never have to reload. And that video with the Owen gun is actually on the second channel right now. So go check it out alongside another video later on. But we've then used subsonic rounds. So you stay off radar, but it's while still being able to use recoil booster. Uh, and then the Mark VI skeletal underbow. Then the Swiss that I use is the Gru suppressor with a 24.9 inch combat recon. The SWAT 5 MW laser, the Bruiser grip, and then the Serpent wrap. Uh, really, really nice. And it's kind of personal preference. I know a lot of people prefer the Swiss, and then some people prefer the car. The car 98K, I would say, is more consistent and easier to use, um, just because of how the, how the game's aim assist works. So personal preference for that. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, then double time, overkill, amped, throwing knife, and a stim. The next one I've got is my tempered class, uh, and this is with the Cooper Carbine. The Cooper on Rebirth is perfect. It's got a really high fire rate, which makes it good at close range, and it's also obviously a really effective assault rifle for mid to long for the rest of Rebirth Island. The class you want is the MX Sciencer with a 22-inch Cooper Custom Barrel. Um, I would actually change the 3 to 6 time scope to the G16 2.5, just because Rebirth, so you can kind of deal with people close, and also at those longer distances. 
Cooper 45 RS stock, tight grip, fully loaded, the polymer grip, the 60 round drum mag, lengthened, and then the M1930 strife angled underbow to wrap it up. Next, uh, if we move along, we've got the uh, our perks. This time I've gone for quick fix along with tempered and combat scout because I run a pistol. I don't need amps because you can switch your pistol quickly. And that pistol is, of course, the Diamati. Agency suppressor, 7.2 inch task force barrel, microflex LED, 30 round fast mag, and then the serpent wrap. Um, and that is that class. And I've got the exact same, but with the automaton. And for very similar reason, it's very similar to the Cooper Carbine. Really high fire rate makes it really good at close range and also those medium range distances. And, you know, if they get too close, you've got that Diamati, which is going to beat most primaries anyway. Uh, the MX Sciencer, the ZAC 600 millimeter FBFA barrel. The G16 Scott Optic, Anastasia padded stock, tight grip, fully loaded, the polymer grip, the 75 round drum mag lengthened, and then the M1941 hand stop. If you do want, though, if you feel like you can deal with it, you can go for the Zach Skeletal for a bit of faster aim walking movement speed. It can help you, gives you that faster strafe. Um, I personally just use this particular build as it works for me. Um, next, if we move on, we've then got my Lapper with the Bren. The Lapper, a hugely underrated SMG in Warzone. Uh, very, very powerful. Uh, one of the fastest time to kills in the game. And you've got the Agency Suppressor there with a 7.9 inch rifle barrel. It's very important for that increased damage and fire rate. Um, then we've got the Microflex LED, which is my, what I prefer uh, as an optic. The Iron Sight is awful. You need to run an optic with the Lapper. Then I've got the Raider stock just for that faster sprint to fire and ADS firing move speed. Uh, and then the Stag Nag 50 round mag. Uh, but give this a go. It's still massively underused for how good it actually is. Uh, and then we've got the Bren, which, as we all know, is the best kind of med medium range weapon in the game right now. Pairs really nicely with that Lapper. Mercury Sciencer, Queen 705mm Royal Barrel, G16 Optic, because once again, we are playing Rebirth. You don't need that six times zoom. You're not going to get into those sort of engagements. Queen's Model 11BH Stock, Tight Grip, Fully Loaded, the Polymer Grip, the 40 round Secure Mag, Lengthened, and then the M1941 Hand Stop. Um, double Time Overkill Amped, um, and then, of course, that Throwing Knife and the Stim as well. Next, this is actually the class that I got my personal best on Rebirth Island. 43 kills, and yes, that is on the second channel, which is in the link down in the description below if you haven't gone and checked it out already. Uh, one of my most disgusting games I think I've ever got with the Cold War PPSH. This is so underrated. It's so good for Rebirth Island, um, and I can't believe people don't use it more. Gru Suppressor. No barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, Spetnaz PKM stock. Your strafe speed is off the charts, as well as your movement speed, thanks to that bruiser grip. Um, and then you can take on multiple people because that Spetnaz 71 round drum mag. Please give this class a go. And I've got it with that car 98K that we saw earlier. Um, of course, you can change what the, the suppressor out for focus if you want. As I said, personal preference there. Double time, overkill, amped throwing knife and then the stim to finish that personal class off next we've got the swiss with the ots the swiss is the exact same um, as we saw earlier and the ots is one of the best cop black ops cold war smgs alongside the lapper so you want the Gru suppressor the 8.1 inch task force barrel the 40 round fast mag serpent wrap and the kgb skeletal stock to finish that particular class off and then i had eod overkill amped um and then i want a stim there as well uh, i want the throwing knife there as well um but really great all-round class uh, eod isn't as effective as like double time and quick fix in certain situations just depends on the lobby that you're playing against because most people are running throwing knives there's not too many explosions going off um, we then have the Type 100, uh, another one of the best SMGs right now. I think it's in the top three alongside the Well Gun and the Owen Gun. You got the Recoil Booster, the Shirashi 374mm barrel, Slate Reflector, the, the uh, Warubashi Grip Folding Stock. Um, then we've got Gun Ho, which completely eliminates the need for Sprint to Fire Time, which is incredible. Gives you a really fast, um, real time to kill. So if someone's just running at you, you can start firing pretty much straight away. Quick. Then I've got the leather grip to increase that ADS speed, the 48 round uh, Kurzmag, subsonic so you stay off radar, and then the Mark VI skeletal underbarrel. And with that, um, I've got the Car 98K from Vanguard. It's not as used, but still really, really effective. Scout Sciencer, VD66 barrel, the three to six times optic because you can quick scope people. It's actually insane. Short stock, fleet 
fully loaded leather grip the five round fast mag lengthened and then the m1930 strife angled it's just kind of if you get bored of the, the swiss or the the modern warfare car 98k this is actually a lot of fun to use eod overkill amped as i said you can switch this to whatever you want that is personal preference um and you can run the heartbeat sensor as well it is an option if you don't like running stims run the heartbeat sensor instead um and then we've got my stg which is kind of more of an smg build this isn't the full smg build that you could change out for the cross nick 220 millimeter rapid to get the uh stg smg but recall booster 760 mil slate reflector um cross nick folding acrobatic fully loaded stipple grip take 50 round mag subsonic and then the m1941 hand top is a lot of fun to use on rebirth and most people have this ranked up very early on so you know if you want a different type of assault rifle to the cooper uh, or the automaton give this a go and if you want the smg build pair of like a sniper change that barrel for the 220 millimeter rapid it's a lot of fun you might have seen on my twitter uh, a clip using this thing it's it's insane uh, and that's with the diamati as well and then my final class right here is the classic the xm4 with the Cold War MP5. The XM4 is agency, 13.5 inch task force, field agent grip, 45 round, and then the actual arms three times. Very, very good assault rifle, once again, because of that high fire rate. And then we got the Cold War MP5, uh, one of my all time favorites, agency suppressor, tag team spotlight, raider stock, bruiser grip, and then the 50 round drum. But like I said, those are my top 10 classes for Rebirth Island. Go and check out my second channel and say you came over from here. I will see you very soon for more Call of Duty. Thanks for watching. Bye.